My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. I am Flash Isaac and of course you are watching 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, I shall be introducing sound waves. In the previous episode, we discussed waves, propagation of waves, and characteristics of waves. We said that waves are disturbance that travel through medium or space. And they transfer energy from one point to another. In the process of transferring energy, there is no mass transfer. Or we can say with very little or no mass transfer. Waves or a wave is a disturbance that travels through medium or space, transferring energy without mass transfer or with little mass transfer. From this definition, it shows that wave can travel through a medium or can choose to travel without a medium. An example of wave that does not travel through a medium, it does not require material medium, which means even in empty space, it can propagate they are generally referred to as electromagnetic waves. Meanwhile, there is a type of wave or a class of waves that they need medium to propagate. In empty space, they will not propagate. And these types of waves are called mechanical waves. Waves. Unfortunately for us, Sound waves require material medium. So sound is a mechanical wave. And today we are dealing with or introducing sound. As such, we need to give it some respect. Gamma rays is an example. So apart from the fact that some waves require material medium, while others do not require material medium. There is a trend. If this is a medium and this is a propagation, the direction of the wave and the direction of propagation can either be parallel or perpendicular. Look at this. If I say, hello, hello, there is a vibration from my mouth, that is sound, hello, hello. You see that that vibration will set the air molecules in motion. They will be moving to and fro, hitting themselves. This hit this, this come back, to and fro, they hit, cha, 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 cha. That's how you are able to hear sounds, cha, cha. So the direction of propagation is parallel to the direction of the wave. In this case, we say that that type of wave is longitudinal wave. Fortunately for us, or unfortunately, sound waves also belong to the longitudinal family. It requires material medium because sound cannot propagate in empty space. No, it requires air, it requires water, it requires a solid. So sounds are propagated in solids, in liquids and air. Let's say, okay, in gases. When there is no air in vacuum, you keep shouting. You see, nobody will hear you. I will say, I am Flash Isaac. The only thing you will hear is, there is no medium. 
So it is medium that is sustaining sound. Without medium, like here, pa, there is sound, or air, or water, liquid, you will not even hear a, a sound at all. We have also some star boy waves where the direction of motion of the waves is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, which means the propagation and the motion are at 90 degrees, they are perpendicular. As such, we call those waves transverse waves. So water waves and electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. So what have I been able to tell you? I'm able to say that sound is a wave. Sound requires material medium to propagate. Example, air. Without all this medium, you will not hear sound. I've also been able to say that sound is a longitudinal wave. It says that the direction of motion is parallel to direction of propagation. They are not perpendicular or at right angles. Now, I'll also say that waves transfer energy. Energy is antimatter. Matter is anything that has or mass and occupies space. Energy does not have mass, does not occupy space. So it can occupy anywhere. Just like you see light now. You cannot say there is too much light in the room. Okay, nothing can occupy here. No. That is even the difference between waves and particles. If I have this here, this one cannot occupy this same space again because they are matter. And if you have billions of these in this room, nothing else will enter. But waves, they can't superimpose. If you have one wave here, another wave can still occupy this same space here. They can superimpose. And waves, they don't really fill up, they don't fill up space because they are not matter. They are antimatter or energy. And they don't transfer mass simply means they don't transfer matter. You don't see physical materials being transferred in the process and i am going to release so many videos to cover everything about waves S sound wave alone is going to carry many videos light waves and so many things i am going to make waves so detailed okay this is just an introduction to sound waves and jump expects you to know propagation of sound waves the speed of sound in various mediums since me and you, we sat down, we had the meeting to agree that sound needs a medium to propagate. Then you need to know reflection of sounds, echoes and reverberations. We need to know the characteristics of sound waves. Where you see uh, uh, notes, noise, uh, pitch, frequency, amplitude, overtone, harmonics, vibration in strings, force vibration, resonance closed and open pipes all these are what we should know so long sound waves is concerned and the truth is that i am going to teach you and make it very very simple and this is just these are jam questions everything i've taught you they are the things you see in the jam hall i generally teach higher than jam standard so you are going to see questions below the standard i'm using to teach you as so you pass if you follow this series, there is nothing that will not make you pass jam. And you add the Flash Learner Jam app. They are the best combination for your exam. The videos, the Flash Learners app. You can visit flashlearner.com to install one for yourself. And you'll be so, so fine. Now let's dig more into propagation of sound waves. When it comes to propagation of sound waves, you should know that the speed of sounds in solids is more than the speed of sounds in liquids and the speed of sound in liquids is more than the speed of sounds in gases now when you hear gas take a as an example when you say speed of sound in liquids let's take water as an example now, speed of sound in solids, solid materials, let's take iron as example. Now, 
sound will travel faster in iron than water and faster in water than air. This implies that sound travels the slowest in air. Wow, wow, wow. That goes a long way. Once you remove air and you have a vacuum, sound cannot even travel at all. It goes to zero. Now, what do you think is the speed of sound in air, in water, and in iron? The speed of sound in air is around 343 meters per second. In jam, you will always be given the speed. Use the speed they will give you. But it will be around this range, 343 meters per second. The speed of sound in water is 1,481 meters per second, always in that range. Now compare 343 meters per second to 1,481 meters per second. You will see that sound travels more than around 4.3 times faster in water than in air. Now look at this. The speed of sound in iron is around 5,120 meters per second. This further shows that the speed of sound in iron is about or around 50 times more than what you see in air as a medium. So, speed of sound in solids is greater than liquids and is greater than gases. Jan will ask you, in which of the following medium is sound as, uh, expected or travel faster? You know what to do. And the speed of sound depends on temperature, wind, density, and elasticity of the medium. Now, how does it vary with temperature? I shall go back to that. But then look at a phenomenon called the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the appearance or perceived change in frequency of sound due to the relative motion between a source of sound and observer. If someone is playing a music on their radio, the person is moving, and you listening to the sound, you are also moving. When there is relative motion between you guys, motion of one person relative to another, there will be a perceived change in frequency of that uh, sound. This implies that a new frequency has been introduced. And the formula to find the new frequency depends on whether they are approaching or receding. When approaching, the new frequency f prime is equals the like the original frequency or the source frequency or the old frequency times the speed of sound in air plus the speed of the moving observer all over the speed of sound in air minus the speed of moving source all the places you are seeing v v v v v they all stand for speed but when there is o under it means observer s under it means the source of the sound the person carrying the sound or where the sound is coming from so when approaching f prime is equals f v plus v naught all over v minus vs write this down when receding f prime is equals f bracket v minus v naught all over v minus vs the parameters and everything are the same except that when approaching you use plus at the top and minus at the bottom but when receding you use minus at the top and bottom or you use plus at the top and bottom so we can go with this plus here and plus here or minus up and minus down when receding f prime is the new frequency and don't forget f is the original frequency or the source frequency or the actual frequency v is the speed or velocity of sound in air. V naught is the speed of the moving observer. Uh, Vs is the speed of the moving source. 
take note of all that. Very, very important. The higher the temperature, the more the molecules are able to move. Don't fail to understand that temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of molecules. So the more the molecules are able to move, then the more the speed of sound. So speed of sound increases with temperature and sound will move faster in the direction of the wind. If wind is blowing this way and sound is going this way, it will move faster than when the sound is in opposite direction to the direction of the wind. And the more elastic a medium is, the more the speed of sound. Then when it comes to density, for solids, I think the denser it is, the more the speed of sound. The denser the medium, the more the speed of sound. But I think for air, speed is faster in less dense air. Air is usually less dense. So that is why um, sound is faster in solids than air. All these are by the wayside. But just take a look at them. Make sure you understand one or two things. In the next episode, we we'll still continue sound waves. We have a lot of things we've not even mentioned. But I know you are going to enjoy it. Get the Flash Learner Jam app and begin to play with questions. Let me know how you feel using the comment box. Reach me if you have things to discuss with me. And don't forget to tell others about the Flash Learner YouTube channel. See ya.